And um, when you guys want to ask a question, if you just put your hand up so I can see you, or if you don't mind waiting until I get done with the presentation, then I'll open up the room for people to ask their questions. We okay with that? This is applause. If you want to applaud everybody, this is applause. In other words, that's what that is. Um, thumbs up, you know, if you're, you got it. And um, I'll go ahead and get started if you guys are okay with that. Thumbs up, you okay with me moving forward? Okay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen because what I was asked to do was to do a second presentation concerning the use of business pages. And if you don't have a business page, you may change your mind about that and decide that you want to create one. So I'm going to share my screen. And if you all can uh, give me a thumbs up, if you can see my personal profile on Facebook. You see my screen, Phil, Shirley? Okay, all right. So um, I've been in doing some rebranding since the last time that we chatted because of the fact that Facebook is starting to crack down on people doing business on their personal profile. So I'm kind of revamping my brand and I've moved away from trying to brand my business on my personal profile. But as you can see, I have a new uh, information underneath my banner that if you clicked on this, it will take you over to my business group that I'm trying to promote. And then over here, what you would be able to see as well is if you have like, this takes you to my website, I've got my personal website, I've got my pottery website, I've got my essential oil website. So that's just kind of a outline about what you guys can do with your profile to stay within the guidelines of Facebook and building your brand or building your business. And then this, I've taken all of the nine photos that were in the featured photo section and we've created this. And if you click on this, it will open up into a new window and you will be able to get the link to join my group to get this free cheat sheet that we offer in my group, okay? I'm gonna move you guys out of the way. So as you can see here, I have, I love helping entrepreneurs need some help. And this link here will take you to my group so that you can ask to join it if you're interested in connecting with me. So that's just a couple of things that you guys can do with your personal profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over here to my business page. And I apologize uh, that I'm using a new computer and uh, I don't know that my internet connection is real good, but Facebook seems to be like dragging down in a snail's pace. And I don't know <clears throat> if the rest of you have had that experience or not using Facebook. It could just be my internet connection. I don't know. And I am using the new Facebook view. So if you guys aren't on the new Facebook, your Facebook may not look like mine, okay? when you come to my business page or when you look at your own page. Now, this is my business page. So if I click this button here, it says view as a visitor. So if you came to my business page as a visitor, you would not be able to see what you're seeing right now. What you're seeing right now would be your view on your business page the visitors would not see those items over there on the left. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And then you can just exit the visitor view so that I can show you, if you have a business page, some of the awesome tools that Facebook has given us to use to build our businesses. And most of that information is over here on the left. Here's your Facebook settings. If you wanna change your business page settings, whereas in the uh, classic view, it would be uh, in a up in your toolbar where you go to settings. But um, anyway, that's this is the new view of Facebook business pages. 
Now, what I wanted to show you was Facebook is giving you the option to use stories on your business page, which is pretty awesome because you can create a story and it will go into that story news feed that you see on everybody's profile. And you can advertise your stuff there. Okay. And everybody will see your stuff, not just the people that are your friends. So you want to be using stories. And the way you get to stories from your business page is you actually have to go to the Creator Studio, which is on the video tab. So when you click on the Creator Studio, it will open up. <coughs> and you will be able to create a story from that tab. So you guys, if you don't have a business page, it may be something you wanna consider. If you have one and you're not doing stories on your page yet, that's where you go to create a story. And you might wanna play around a little bit with that. Now, if you're on a mobile device, if it's a tablet or a phone, the create the, um, the stories, if you want to create a story, you would see your personal profile photo will have a ring around it and a plus sign. That's where you create a story from a phone or a tablet. But if you're on a computer, you actually have to go to Creator and go to that Creator Studio and create your story. And that's up here at the top where it says add a story. That's where you can upload a video if you wanted to upload a video as well. So that's where you find that information. And if you wanted to edit one of your videos, you know, that's where you could get to that too. Also, Facebook has given us, let me go over here, the new business suite tool. So if you don't, if you have a business page, you should be seeing the business suite tool on your business page. You can connect your Instagram account to your business page. So when you post on your business page, you can post on Instagram at the same time. And this is what it looks like. It says, go to business suites. So if you've got a business page, you may want to check that out. And um, that, this is where you can safely promote your business, okay, using a business page. And I wanted to show you, because a lot of you are affiliate marketers and you're marketing somebody else's products, you're selling 4% products or someone else's products, as well as possibly your own. And you may just want to set up a business page so that you can drive the traffic from Facebook to your 4% funnel or wherever it is that you're trying to promote. And I have a sample business page here of someone that I've been following for a very, very long time. And you're gonna be able to see what she has done with her business page and how she promotes her uh, membership platform. And I was hoping this would open up, but it may not. Like I say, the delay for Facebook is really, really, really bad. So here's your business suite. And when business suite opens up, you can get to all your business pages right from this one location. You can pick the business page you wanna create a post for. You can pick the business page that you want to um, interact with that you're not stuck on the one that you came to it from. So, so let's say here, I wanted to create a post and when it opens up, I'm really sorry guys about this delay, but I have tried, this is my brand new computer. I've tried different computers. I've tried different locations in the house and it doesn't seem to matter where I'm at. That's just really, really slow for Facebook. <clears throat> and as you can see, I've got a Facebook newsfeed, an Instagram newsfeed because I have an Instagram account attached to my uh, business page. So therefore I can tell it if I create a post that I want it to go on the Instagram feed as well, and then I can create that post. But it doesn't look like this is going to open up. So and we're 20 minutes into the call. So 
I think I'm just going to close this out. You guys can play around with your business pages if you have one or just get in there and create one and set one up and just fool around with it if you want to. This is really bad. All right, it's not going to work. So I'm going to close. Hopefully, it'll let me close it. <laughs> so up here in the business suite, there's a drop down. And I can get to any of the business pages that I have if I wanted to do something right from here. I don't have to go out and go to that business page and come back in. So that's really a good tool to have. So I'm going to close this window because I want to show you this um, other business page. This is uh, Secret Mermaid Cove is the name of the business page. This was created, oh gosh, it's probably been four or five years ago um, by the person that owns this because she promotes social media growth organically as well. And this is what she uses her business page for. You're not gonna see any content on here. This is a place where you can go and this shop button will take you to her website where if you want to get into her membership platform, that's where you register for her membership platform. So with that said, you guys could just create a business page, set it up so that you've got the links to your 4% opportunities or whatever it is that you've got people going to away from Facebook and not get any trouble with Facebook, okay? Legitimately, that will help you guys to be able to market using Facebook drive people to your page, drive people like I do. I drive people to my Facebook group. And then within my Facebook group, I can drive them to other websites. And Facebook's okay with you doing that as long as it's a private group. You don't wanna do it in a public group. And then my business page is connected to my group. So I can interact in my group as my business page as well. So that's just kind of a few of the things that you can do. And if we scroll down here, you're gonna see that she created this page in 2017. So that was three years ago. And she has uh, right now 1,482 people following her business page. And um, she has more people following her on her personal profile than she has friends. And this woman is making money head over heels. She's been doing it for three years and she's never paid for a Facebook ad ever. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this is one of the tools that you can use if you choose to set up a business page. And then if you get people that are connecting with you and you want to grow this business page to get people here, make sure you have your review tab turned on and you ask them to please go to your business page and write a review of their personal experience with whatever it is that you're interacting with them about. And you wanna get at least three reviews on your business page before you publish it and start using it to drive people to. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, go ahead and let's see. Get over to, um, if you guys have questions and you want to unmute yourself, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, raise your hand or if you have questions or I can just stop sharing. Okay, some folks are in the chat here. Uh, Orlando and Will, we only have 30 minutes today. Dana had to go to a funeral. Okay, but I don't see him here. Did you put anything in the messenger chat, Phyllis, for them so that they can not in the Zoom oh. chat, but on messenger? They're on Sorry. here. Okay, they are? Okay, okay, all right. So did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask? Um, I can stop sharing my screen and I don't wanna really stop sharing it if you need me to show you something. Go ahead, Phyllis. Um, so you're just saying that we can connect our hub like oh, created in 4%? where the people can just go. You're talking about your website. 
yeah, my head, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. On my business page, my business page, you can get to my personal website, www.marginchristensen.com. But right now, what I'm doing with, with it is I'm promoting people. I'm sending people to my group. Okay. Okay. But I mean, it was saying to serve the same purpose, just to send them to the hub, right? It, yeah, if that's the way you want to market. It depends on your strategy on using Facebook. To find free leads, not advertise, and move people wherever it is you want them to go. So that so, won't get me in Facebook jail? To, no, no. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's the reason Facebook's giving us business pages. Yeah. So this button right here that says visit the group, you're seeing this as me because you're not in a, as a visitor. Now, as a visitor, what you're going to see is you're going to see join which is an action step that I'm asking you to do by my header here. I help direct sales reps sell more products on Facebook faster. And here's the arrow, visit my group. You can set your business page up for this button to actually go to your 4% website, your health product website, whatever shop website you have, that's where they'll go. So you just have to design your strategy to talk to your um, audience and give them the call to action on what it is you want them to do when they come here. Okay. That makes sense? Does that help you? It did. And I really appreciate you standing in and doing this today. This is uh, really great for you to do that. No problem. Orlando, you have a question? Yeah, yeah well, that's uh, good to know. So that helped me with my business pages. I'll switch it over to private and utilize it that way because Facebook wants me to do a lot of posting, but they want to charge me for it. Okay, for Orlando, it. you're talking about what do you want to turn on private? Uh, the My business pages. Pages are public. Pages are public. You have no choice. Oh. A business page. This is a business yeah, page. Yeah, on my business pages. This is a business. How many business pages do you have? Three. Are you sure you're not talking about groups? Yes. Okay. All business pages are public. You can't change their, their status. What you can change the status of is your groups. Oh, okay. 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 You don't, you don't want, see, this is what I do is I drive traffic to my group. Okay. Which is a private group. Okay. Where I have links in that private group. Right. That will take them to my offer or wherever I want them to go. What I was saying in this training was you do not want to put those types of links in a group if it's right. set as public. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that group is set as private. Right. Once you change, if you have a public group that you're driving traffic to, once you change that public group to private, you cannot change it back to public. Okay. So what I did is I created my group oh, about a year ago. I started actively working at the first of the year to drive traffic to it. I got the, the uh, membership count up to over 70 people and I'm doing it strategically and on purpose. So I don't have all kinds of spammy people in my group. I have a purpose and a strategy. And then I just changed it recently before we did the rebranding to a private group so that now I can drive them to that group, not get in trouble with Facebook because it's not set as public. Does that help? Did that answer your question, Orlando? Yes, yes, okay. that's a big help. Thank you. Okay, all right. Anybody else? Shirley, you got any questions? You have to unmute yourself. Just hit your little microphone down there in the left-hand corner. It looks like a microphone on the bottom toolbar of your of the pictures you're you're looking at. Move your mouse. Now, there you go. I hear you. You got it, girl. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. Thank you. Because uh, right now, as it is, I'm actually on a new page. My business page is still out there. Um, so I'm just listening to what you're saying and to see what I would need to do. 
Okay, all right, that's fine. Just wondering if you had any questions concerning what I was showing you guys, if you needed more detail or anything on what's happening. Well, it's good to hear the things that are happening because this was never been told to us before, to me before. Okay. So this is like new information, so which is good. Awesome. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, there you are. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's see. Will's here. Will, you guys? Hi. How are you guys doing? Good to, good to be with you today. Good. You got, did, I don't know if you saw the whole thing or if you had any questions. I did. Yeah. 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 I actually did. So that button that you, you're pointing to on your business page, can you change the text? That's what I was saying. Customize it. Well, yeah, on the business pages, when you set your business page up, they give you multiple different choices of what kind of button you want to use, and then you can name it whatever you want to name it. So, yeah, okay, it's pretty cool. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Like you can say shop so you now, can... you can say learn, you can say more, you can say, like mine says, join. You know, you can change it up because you yeah, want yeah. that button to have the call of action that's actually telling your audience what is it that you're expecting them to do. Right. Yeah. No, I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you uh, so I've got uh, I have two business managers, right? It gets into I have two different uh, business managers and I understand you can have this is getting more into ads, Margin, but you can have five ad accounts per business manager. Well, first of all, if you've got a business page, you can't do any advertising without a business page. And when you right. set up your business page, you get an ad account, but you shouldn't need more mm -hmm. than one. You run it off that same ad account. You yeah. don't need to have more than one ad account. I've been noticing, uh, well, from other groups and things where Facebook is, is shutting down um, accounts, right? If they, if people, for whatever reason, I mean, it seems like you can just make one mistake or if it's marginal and they're really shutting people's accounts down. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's getting harder and harder to advertise yeah. on well, That's Facebook. what I'm saying. That's why they gave us business pages. That's why I'm trying to get you yeah. guys to understand if you're going to be marketing, do it from a yeah. business page, a secret yeah. group. And you want to make sure you're not using specific language. You don't want to bait your audience because Facebook's mm -hmm. cracking down on posts that are baiting posts. And yeah. um, their, their, their tolerance level is getting to be pretty thin. Mm -hmm. And um, you're not even going to get a warning. It's just going to be one day your, your account's going to totally disappear. That's what and happens, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that happens because it happened to me because I had uh, somebody hacked my ad account. Mm and ran an ad on somebody else's business page. And I didn't oh. find it until I was seeing invoices from Facebook in my email for ads. It's like, I'm not right, running right. an ad and I'm freaking out because you can't get a hold of anybody at Facebook, you know? Yeah. So I went right I to my ad account and I deactivated my ad account and um, I got the address from Facebook and I did screenshots and I sent them copies of the emails they sent me and I wrote them a letter. Mm -hmm. I told them exactly what's happening. And so they finally removed all the charges off my credit card. I contacted my uh. credit card company. They closed the, you know, they gave me a new credit card number and all that kind of stuff. And then after that, mm -hmm. if something weird was going on on my account, they blocked me. They would not let anybody connect with me until I verified that I was me and that I was okay and it was okay for this. Because yeah, I would, yeah. right after that, I would get messages from people I connect with all the time. They're going, where are you? You're gone. We can't find you on Facebook anywhere. Well, I hadn't logged in yet. So then when I logged mm -hmm. in, I got the verification thing. So I had to do that about three or four times after that happened. And then I did the two-factor authentication on my security setups in Facebook. So nobody can hack my account at all anymore. Mm -hmm. so Boy, what a hassle account. that was for you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Going through yeah, all sure. that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I, well, I had a question about, okay. um, so you use your business page to, uh, when, you, when you run a, a Facebook ad, you choose which business page you're going to run you that can. ad from. Yeah, if you, right? if you don't have, if you don't see business suites available yet, uh -huh. watch for it. Because when you click on the business suite, that's where everything is connected, all your business pages. You can get to all of them from that one location. 
it used to be a flag mm -hmm. if you're on your phone you'd see that flag for you to get to business yeah. pages and that's going to mm -hmm. be replaced by business suites so you should be yeah, watching I still for see that the flag i think i still see the flag actually yeah, you might still see it but they're rolling out the business suites and as the different uh business pages start implementing the business suites it's going to be the flag will be going away in other words so if you we post a, a stuff in our on our business page and then we boost that post mm -hmm. who is it being boosted to our well, friends if you if you've picked any audience but Anybody. So it, 99 percent of the time, you're wasting your money. Boost, wasting the money to boost. You know exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who is it boosting to? Anybody that's interested in but your it, subject? It it depends. It depends on um, who likes your page. A lot of it's just going to the people that liked your page. So if you don't have a big count of people that have liked your page, you're really wasting your money. But it mm -hmm. should go to anybody that's interested in whatever the subject matter is. And so you, it's just like the ad manager. you got to be very careful to make sure you're picking the right audience if you're going to boost. But yeah. all, all the gurus tell you you're wasting your money boosting a post. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know how much longer we're going to be on here. We're into 33 minutes, so we should be here a few more minutes. If anybody else has any questions or if Will, if you've got any more questions or. So um, you can have two. I just think I think you can have two business managers, right? You can have a talking, total of when you're two talking about managers. a manager, you're talking about somebody that manages your account, like an administrator to your business. No, page? like your like your own business account, right? You can have I think you can have two business managers with five ad accounts per manager or per business management. Um, I really account. don't know, Will, because I don't do advertising because I promote social organic reach, mm -hmm. Facebook. But from yeah. what I'm hearing other people telling me that Facebook is cracking down that you're only allowed to have 10 to run 10 ads mm -hmm. during a certain period of time. They're limiting the number of ads that you could run. It's getting harder and harder to get your ads approved. It is. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, so you really need to find somebody that knows what they're doing. And I what I recommend is I recommend if you're serious about advertising on Facebook that you find an marketing advertising company that specializes in Facebook ads. That's mm -hmm. where I drive my clients if they're interested in creating ads, which is what I did with one of my clients who had a brick and mortar business in Omaha, Nebraska. And yeah. when she did that, her business took off and she's, she's just, it's amazing the way the growth yeah, that she's had good. over the last couple of years. So that's what I recommend. Because I'm, I know nothing about Facebook ads. I've tried boosting posts, wasted my money, didn't get me anything. And mm -hmm. the other thing is, Facebook is starting to crack down now on likes. They're not, they're not going to measure Facebook business pages so much by, you've got five thousand likes. What mm -hmm. they're going to measure is the number of people that have liked your business page are following it are engaging and are uh, communicating with you so if you're going to be serious about a business page you want to start treating it as your personal profile where you start say posting life events like you would on your personal profile value mm -hmm. posts personal uh, experiences you know out and about or whatever you're doing and eventually you may even want to start um getting down to let me turn off this timer. And um, so that your business page looks like your personal profile eventually, if you're serious about yeah. using Facebook to market your business. But for what you guys are doing, it's a great segue for you to have a place to grow, get free leads, get them into your email list. You can get them there from Facebook and not spend mm -hmm. any money on advertising, but you got to have the time to work it. And you got to be talking to the right people. Yeah. So you bring them into that for your Facebook business page or your, your business world. And then in your case, your, um, your header, right. Is tell is, is the call of it to action to click that button. Yeah. Mine, that's way, that's, your, yeah. Your that's the way we're setting me up. Yeah. Brandon me for right now. But the other thing about uh, the stories 
that you should be running on your business page is guess what? You get insights when you get somebody. If you've got a story you have put and embedded a link that'll take them to that website or whatever, you're going to get the insights. You're going to find how many clicks did you get? Where did they go? And you're going to, you can talk to the people and you got to engage with the audience. And the more, and the Facebook is saying if you're getting engagement on your personal business page, you want to keep up with it at least every two days. Engaging with those comments, liking it, talking to them in Messenger. I mean, it's a wonderful platform for you to be working your business and not just driving traffic to a link where you hope they buy, which is what affiliate mm -hmm. marketers do. And I don't, that's not the way I do business. There's a lot of them yeah. that buy a list. They got 50,000 people on their list. They send out something to 5,000 of them. They get a hundred that like it and buy. Then they're on to the next people. There's no engagement, no relationship building. Facebook's platform yeah. is for not sustainable building. either that way. You got to be that's... doing attraction marketing if you want to sustain your business and grow. Or just fill up your gold pot for the year and move on to the next thing, you know? <laughs> Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. yeah. so anyway guys um so what 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 product do you have right now um margine that um teaches this stuff i think you have a book right an ebook or something or no uh -uh. i just have my my no. group that i have free training in and i have a group coaching platform that people can get a membership to where they get one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching and again oh. i'm promoting four percent i'm promoting other affiliate products with mm -hmm. my group and my relationship building and okay this is what you need this is a fabulous free training you've got to get on it it's revolutionized the way i do business and once i started mm -hmm. implementing it i started making money and once yeah. they get into that there's other products they could buy if they decide to buy those products i get a commission yeah and i'm using so Facebook, quick, so. if we, i haven't done any stories yet but i think i need to do stories you have to be <laughs> if i create the story yes if you do a story, is it kind of like, um, I'll have to look at it, but is it, is it like you can talk about, say, just take pick a product, the mass traffic blueprint course, right? You can create a story about your experience or how much it's helped you and this, that, and the other. And that's, yeah, whatever that's awesome. you want to be, you know, as marketing, you've got to be creating content that's interesting to your audience that they care about. Right. And then that, again, it goes through that news feed. It's gone in 24 hours. So like I'm telling people, do one every two hours. Maybe mm -hmm. you got a strategy and you got this series. You do this one, and then in two hours, you're doing a follow-up. In two hours, you're doing a follow-up. And if you keep doing that, you're going to have a steady stream of those stories because that's what Facebook's going to be pushing out is stories, mm -hmm. not news feed. Now, who does that story go to? Who sees it? Just people but, on your friends list or... If, public or if your profile is set as public and you're doing it from your business page it's wherever it just okay. goes through the feed and then hopefully people will start liking and commenting and and clicking on it and we've got three minutes left if you've done it from your business page you get the insights from your business page and you can go look at it and see, well, this one did really, really well. This one didn't do so well. This one did really, really, this one. And just like your marketing with your affiliate marketing um, strategies that Vic teaches. If this, this content yeah. didn't do real well, I don't want to do one like that again. This one did really well. This is what they're liking. Then you want to do more of that type of content. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. I see the stories, but I haven't created one yet. But I, well, that's where that. I'm telling you, that's where they're coming from. And people think they're just coming from people's profiles. No, do them on your business page because you can actually embed a link and have an action step. Do stickers, do an arrow and say, click here, click here, go mm -hmm. whatever, my free ebook or whatever it is. And you can get people starting to take action. Man, that's good. I got, I got a good idea. That's great stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome, guys. <laughs> A light okay, bulb. See this, cool. this, this shine on my head. It's, it's, it's really a light bulb. Yeah, I know. I can see it everywhere. I mean, that's why I'm here. And <laughs> all you guys is get your creativity Look, going. Orlando has a light bulb above his head too. Yeah, because <laughs> business entrepreneurs are creators. You know that, right? Each one Absolutely. of you is a creator, and that's what Facebook calls us: is creators. That's why we have mm -hmm. the creator studio because we're creators. Everybody else is a consumer. 
So get creating, guys. There's some awesome tools here for you to be using that you're, it's costing you money not to be using them. And it's yeah, free. I think the story, the story is awesome. Everybody should use the story. That's, yeah. that's going to be killer because you, you just think about that. You got a that's big reach hard. and you have a call to action button. Exactly. Exactly. Do videos. Yeah. You can do anything with them. Okay, guys, I will be putting this in the group. Uh, later on when it uploads and we'll see you next week all Thanks. right thank you all right thanks for being everybody. here again for everything. Mwah, mwah. you bet everyone enjoy your weekend you yeah too. you too hi marianne phyllis look at all that it, Shirley. Good to see, you. see you guys later bye-bye <laughs>